Hi, my name is Rick Goltz and I have Lyme disease. Lyme disease is brought on by a little tick bite and causes many debilitating symptoms. Some of the symptoms I've experienced are insomnia, nausea, anxiety, extreme muscle pain and weakness, imbalance to the point where falling is almost a daily occurrence, and so much more. It's just stripped me of my life. Prior to this, in my younger days, I was a professional football player. I did what I loved and got paid for it. I played 10 years total, played in BC for five years, a year in Calgary, four in Saskatchewan, then I went on to play for a brief stint for the LA Raiders. I was big, six foot four, 265 pounds, bench pressed over 500 pounds, for several years was the strongest player in the league. What a great career I had, loved every bit of it, even through all the injuries, and there were a lot. You know, the funny thing is, football is a tough game, very difficult, one of the toughest experiences I ever had becoming a pro and staying at that level for 10 years. But you know, what's crazy is all that hard work and years of struggle and lifting weights and running and sweating and getting hurt and hospitals and injuries, pales in comparison is nothing. It's just a tiny speck compared to what this disease, Lyme disease has done to me. After my football career, I settled into a wonderful life with my family and my children and stayed fit. I mean, fitness was my life. So years ago, I realized that I needed to do more to help other people achieve their health goals. So I started my own weight loss clinic called Better Body For Me. What's a shame, however, is I haven't been able to go into my clinic more than three times in the past year. I'm unable to go. Fortunately, God provided me with an assistant that does an awesome job. But I'm tired of being in my damn house. I want to get out. I want to hike. I want to play tennis, I want to work out, I want to go, at the, go to the gym. I had a great schedule. I'd go to work at the clinic, help a bunch of people lose weight, hop in my car, go to the gym, get changed, have a workout, come home, have a healthy dinner, watch a little TV and get my rest. That was a normal day. <laughs> Not anymore. My life has lived inside my house and my car. Walking to the mailbox is a major ordeal which I try not to do much for fear of falling and landing on my head, <laughs> which might help. <laughs> there are better days ahead, however. I'm confident with the power of my Lord God and the help of my peers, I will be able to finally tackle Lyme disease. Your generous contributions will fund my stay at a treatment facility where I will stay for several weeks and finally be rid of this deadly disease. If you're unable to contribute, no worries. I would ask you if you could share this to your friends and family and let others know uh, about my story. I thank the Lord that he's there and that my faith is strong. I wouldn't be able to go through this without it, without him and without my family, Corby, Carly, and Lucas, my sisters who've been helping me a lot. I mean, there's just so many people. I have been so humbled and so unbelievably astonished and blessed at how many people have stepped up and helped me. I'm just amazed. So many people that are there for me. I never, I never believed it could happen before. And asking for help was always difficult for me. I was independent. I could do everything myself or thought I could can't do much myself anymore and I've had to ask for help and uh, boy that's been tough getting a little bit used to it but I'll be glad when I can help others and in closing I want to leave you with a couple scriptures by his stripes I am healed love that one and my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus thank you and God bless that was good that was awesome just talking from the cuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. I love you. I That's love awesome. you. This is going to be awesome, Dad. <laughs>